Clouds. Locked. What's going on guys, King here, and today I am going to be your host on Ruffle. Super excited to be doing this. We're going to be doing Plunder Pirates, and we're going to be doing a single unit attack strategy for you. So today, I'm going to be using all gunners just to get 150,000 gold, and that is what I need to upgrade my bunker to level 2. So, I've been working on my base, and definitely trying to get better at the game. Haven't been attacking much, unfortunately, just because I've been so busy, just been kind of farming with my mines, and obviously... That is not the best way to play a game, so we're getting into this. We're going to be playing a lot more from now on, and hopefully doing a lot of videos for you guys. So I'm really excited because this game is really awesome. I'm just trying to find a really good raid with 150,000 gold that I can steal. Uh, a lot of these bases are pretty noobish like this one. Uh, not worth my time, obviously. And then there are some really tough bases, obviously, that you could attack and get a lot of loot, but you're just not going to win. And that's no fun either, guys. So we want to win and get some loot. Uh, let's try and find one. Here's a noob one again, and this one actually is 139,000. I would attack it, except for it's too little loot. This one is 150,000. I think I can get it all. Ooh, look at that. I like this one. Awesome. So let's get into it. Let's attack. So guys, the strategy with this one with all gunners is going to be to surround the entire outside of the base with a couple troops just to take out the percentages, and I'll show you that right now. Coming from the top, we're actually just going to drop one gunner per building to make sure we can steal it and get the percentage points and now we're gonna go kinda heavy along the right side of the base to see if we can get this grog distillery line and it looks like we're gonna get all those distilleries so that's really good news now dropping a few more gunners along the bottom of the base to get the extra percentage points and then we're gonna go real heavy here on the gold mines as you can see so this is actually going pretty well now guys do me a favor I have a question of the day for you guys what is your favorite troop composition or strategy? What do you guys use? Let me know how many of each you use and what your favorite troops are. And I will go ahead and try and master that force and do it in the next video for you guys. So make sure you go ahead and get some positive feedback on this video if you're having fun. And I will definitely be your host again. Now, as you can see, just clearing out the rest of this, we got all the gold. Now, going for the last of that Grog Distillery, I do save three gunners just in case stuff goes bad. But we already have the 50%, so I'm not even worried. So as you can see, just destroyed, wow, that was all the way up to 61%. Now we dropped down our three gunners right there, and with the extra three gunners, we now have six gunners on that grog storage, and that is going to give us the rest of the loot. So pretty awesome, got 65%, one star on this base, with just 50 gunners. So a pretty fun strategy, and I definitely love using the tier one, I guess you could call them, units. It's a lot of fun, and it's definitely a little bit more strategy in order to win but tell me what your favorite strategies are as i said and i'll definitely try them out now we're going to upgrade our bunker that's why we got 150,000 gold because we needed 1.4 million so in three days i'll have a level two bunker this is really cool and it's definitely something i'm very excited to have now what we're going to do is actually flip back into the past earlier today i did a fun raid that i wanted to show you guys just had some fun had like a random force built up and i was like you know what let's just attack because i do sometimes build random forces because i do a lot of uh searching and so i just like to have fun and play with different things so today i decided to do one and i wanted to show it to you obviously here's my base is what i'm kind of doing i'm just showing you what i have so you guys can check it out um i do have the center kind of blockaded off by walls and i do have two mortars on the inside of that with two bunkers and a cannon and then all my loot and I have the firewall there, of course. And we're going to actually upgrade the Witch Doctor today, too. So we upgraded our bunker and we're going to do our Witch Doctor all in the same day. Pretty exciting. Kind of a good day for me, to be honest. And I am very excited to be playing this game. Rovio really knew what they were doing when they made this game. It's super, super awesome. Looks great. And, uh, yeah, just a lot of fun. So we're going to move on and find a raid. And let's see if we can find it pretty quickly. Might just attack the first one we come across, which is always fun. And that's what we're actually going to do, is attack this first one that we came across, which is... Hmm, look at it. Look at this. Oh, my God. Can we get a three-star in this? Well, I do have some cool units. We're going to drop down our guys. As you can see, the meat shields are down, followed up by our gunners. And then, of course, we're going to put down our awesome, awesome units and destroy this base. So the strategy I actually used was I placed down four brutes in a line, basically, followed up by some gunners, and then I threw some buccaneers down too, along with my legendary pirate, and then spread out my thieves, as you can see. I'm just spreading the thieves out now across the base. 
because they do go after resources and they're very strong against them. So we did want to go very heavy from the left and right bottom here because we do want to take out the pirate hall as quickly as possible and get that guaranteed star. Now it looks like our troops are kind of distracted, but it looks like we're at the two star without a problem any second now. And it looks like we're going to get an easy three star. This is pretty awesome. Winning all the loot too, which is also cool. Got to like that. Now, it looks like our guys are running away from the Pirate Hall. I don't like that. I wish we could have gone and taken the Pirate Hall out first, but it doesn't matter. I do have some troops on it, so we're going to win no matter what. Some gunners are down there, and I think a Buccaneer or two. Uh, let's check it out real quick. Yeah, we do have some guys down there, and a Thief. Wow. So we do have every type of unit, basically, except for our Legendary and our Brute down there, and they're going to be running down to help out. So this has gone pretty well. Kind of a fun little strategy. Um, I kind of based it off my past experience in other games that have similar strategies, uh, like Clash of Clans and all those other ones. And this is completely different than Clash of Clans, obviously, but they do have some similarities, and any iOS game does. So guys, before you go ahead and say, oh yeah, it's a lot like Clash of Clans, it's really not. But it does have some cool things in it that do resemble it, and I'm going to leave it at that. But 100% right there, 7 battle points, and about 100,000 gold and 90,000 grog so pretty awesome nice little victory hopefully you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the next one and i'll definitely see you guys soon thanks so much for the support love you guys peace